Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the time needed for the load at B to attain a speed of 10 meter per second. So we have to find the time required for this load B to attain a speed of uh, 10 meter per second. So let me write that VB is the velocity of B needed is 10 meter per second and we have to find the time T for that uh, block B to attain a speed of 10 meter per second from starting from rest. It is said they're starting from rest. And it is said that if the cable is drawn into the motor with an acceleration of 3 meter per second square. So let's say that the acceleration of the acceleration of this point A is the acceleration of point A is equal to 3 meter per second square. So now uh, is we can see that this whole mechanism has two ropes. Let's say this is this red one is let's say rope one and then we have one another rope let's say this rope. We have this rope this is rope two let's say. So we need to write the equation for the length of the ropes but before that we have to define our data and lines. We have to define our reference line for the uh, for defining the position of that point A and the position of pulley B and C. So for A this is our reference point and the distance of the displacement of the point A from this particular point is considered to be positive in this direction that is from left to right. And similarly the position of pulley C and pulley B is measured from this uh, reference line and the position of pulley C is considered to be positive in this direction this is SC and similarly the position of that pulley B or block B is considered to be positive in this direction and the displacement is represented by SB that is the displacement SB. So now for uh, the rope 1 which is the red uh, rope so that is we can say that this is equal to this SA this SA plus this SC. So let me write that for rope 1 we have SA plus SC this is equal to L1 and if we take the derivative of this equation with respect to time so we will have DSA by DT plus DSC by DT equals to DL1 by DT. So the, the length of the rope is not changing with respect to time. So this first term will give us VA plus VC and this will be equal to 0. The length of the rope 1 is not changing with respect to sine 2. So the derivative will, this derivative will be equal to 0. So now we have this equation and now from this equation we can write that VC. We can write that VC is equal to minus VA. Now for rope 2. as we can see that this will be from here to here this is SB and this length this length will be SB minus AC this is SB and this is SC so this length will be SB minus AC so we can write that SB plus SB minus AC plus SB minus AC so we can write that SB plus 2 times SB minus SC this small length this is this is SB minus SC so this is 2 times SB minus SC and this will be equal to the length of rope 2. Now from this we can write that SB plus 2SB minus SC equals to L2 or we can write that 3SB minus SC equals to L2 and now if we take the derivative of this equation with respect to time so we will have 3 dsb by dt minus dsc divided by dt this is equal to d l2 divided by dt and hence the, the, the length of rope 2 is not changing so the derivative with respect to time will be equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 so we can write that this is dsb by dt is the velocity of point v this is 3 vb minus we see uh, sorry this will be here we will have 2sc this is 2sc so this is 2sc and here we will have 2vc and this is equal to 0 
Now in the problem statement, we are asked to determine the time needed for the load at B to attain a speed of 10 meters per second and we are given the acceleration. So we are given the acceleration of A and the velocity of B. So we need to develop a relationship between the velocity of A and the velocity of B. In order to have the relationship between the acceleration and the acceleration of A and the acceleration of B. So we need to we need to replace we need to eliminate this Vc from this equation and we know that Vc is equal to minus Va. So now if I put Vc in this equation, so this will be 3 Vb minus 2 and Vc is equal to minus Va. This is minus Va and this is equal to 0 and from this equation I can write that this is 3 Vb plus 2 Va equals to 0. So now this equation is very important. Let me let me put this equation on side and similarly if we take uh, the derivative of this equation we have this 3 vb plus 2 va equals to 0 and if we take the derivative of this equation with respect to time so this will be 3 dvb divided by dt plus 2 dva divided by dt and this is equal to 0 so this will give us 3 the acceleration of block b plus 2 the acceleration of block a this is equal to 0. Now if you want to find we are given the acceleration of that point a the acceleration of this particular point is given which is 3 meters per second square so we can find the acceleration of block b uh, using this equation so from this equation we can write that acceleration of block b is equal to minus 2 acceleration of a divided by 3 and now the acceleration of a is given which is which is 3 meter per second square so we need to put that in this equation so this is minus 2 into 3 divided by 3 3 will cancel out and the acceleration of block b will be equal to minus 2 meter per second square so now if the motor pulls the rope with a velocity of 3 meter per second towards the right the block is raised in the upward direction with an acceleration of uh, 2 meter per second so negative science tells us that block b is moving in the opposite direction of his b that is in the opposite direction of, of our uh, conventional direction for his b this was the positive direction of his b so so from this we can conclude that block b is moving with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square in the up in the opposite direction of his b that is in the upward direction now we know the acceleration of b and we are required to find the time for block b to have the velocity equals to 10 meter per second. So now we can apply the kinematics. From kinematics we can say that the final velocity of block b will be equal to the initial velocity of block b plus the acceleration of block b into t. And as we know that the final velocity of the block b we need to have the velocity of block b equals to 10 meter per second. In the problem statement, it is said that determine the time needed for the load at B to attain a speed of 10 meter per second. So this is the final velocity V B. Let's say that this is our positive direction. So in order to have the velocity of block B 10 meter per second in the upward direction, so in the upward direction, uh, the velocity need to be negative, right? So V B is equal to minus 10. So if 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 the positive direction is in the downward direction, so we have to write vb equals to minus 10 in this equation so this is minus 10 the initial velocity of block b is 0 and ab is given this is uh, ab is minus 2 meter per second when the convention is when the positive direction is considered to be positive so we will write that this is minus 2 into t and from this we can write that t is equal to minus 10 divided by minus 2 which will give us t equals to 5 seconds so now block B will take 5 seconds to attain the velocity of uh, 10 meter per second in the upward direction. Now in the second problem that is 12204 it is said that the cable at A is D being drawn toward the motor with a velocity of 8 meter per second determine the velocity of block B. So now in the second problem it is said that if the cable is drawn with a velocity of 8 meter per second so now we have this relation. Uh, we have this relation between the velocity of block B and velocity of block A. So we are required to find the velocity of block B. So from this equation, from this equation we can write that 3 VB equals to minus 2 VA. And from this we can write that VB is equal to 
minus 2 divided by 3 VA. So the velocity of log V is equal to minus 2 divided by 3 and VA is given in the second problem that is 8 and if we find this, this is 2 multiplied by 8 divided by 3, this gives us 5.333. So VB equals to minus 5.333 meter per second. So this is the solution for the second problem. So now in the second problem, if the if the rope is pulled with a velocity of 8 meter per second towards the right, the block B is going to move up with a velocity of 5.33 meter per second. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel. If